Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence. Put in the work for yourself and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Thursday, January 4th. We're going to take a look at Upstart today. So Upstart, uh, a few videos or so ago, we put in this gap. It was up here at a uh, stretch from 44 to 46.30. It has recently filled that gap completely, tried to briefly hold support over that gap fill level, couldn't do it, uh, and then it has since sort of capitulated <laughs> the level. Um, it has moved uh, these levels down, though, uh, gap-wise. So there's now a, a little gap here. So we'll put that on the chart, and we're going to flip these to support and resistance levels since there's no longer an unfilled gap there, which is what the purple indicated. Now, the other thing before we put the gap in is it had this uptrend support that it had gapped down big time on, filled that gap, regained support, and you know we're sort of curious to see what it did when it banged into that level again. Uh, for the time being, at least, it has completely just lost it. But it's done that before and regained it. So being, you know, on the more volatile side of things, uh, I'm going to leave that there for now to see if or what Upstart wants to do with it. And I'm going to put, like I said, these this little gap here. It's not huge, but it's there. And since we know Upstart loves to leave and fill gaps, it may come into play. So there it is. It gets into it at about 37.51 and clears it at about 38.34. So a few dollars gain if it wants to do it. Now for the time being, I feel good about this 34.51 level that we put in. You see that's uh, the low for today right now, at least is 34.59. So definitely playing off of that. The low yesterday stretched down to 34.75. So approaching that level and finding some support as it's approaching there uh, for the time being at least. We'll see if that wick up continues to take shape or not. Um, you know, because it's continuing to be a pretty fluid zone, like this is a huge uh, level gap, a gap in, in levels, almost $10, 34.51 all the way up to 44. Those are just the strong levels that I see. Are there some more granular ones in between? Probably. Right now though, I think having this gap in here, knowing that we have this uptrend support that's still cutting through that area, and knowing that the price action has tended to, in recent days and weeks, fly up through that level and fly down through that level. So I'm not going to clutter it with a bunch of extra stuff. I think that uh, uptrend support level being there and then the gap being in there is enough for now. And then if it starts to put in a bunch of additional price action between these levels, then we'll certainly come in and adjust things if folks are interested. Um, so if it slips this level, these levels are the ones that I look to still come into play. Um, we had the gap down here that has since been filled, right? So we can get rid of these guys. And then we can flip over to the Think or Swim study. So many gaps. Uh, think or Swim study to see how things are looking on the channel setup. So we had brief history here trigger, fire, gave us this real roller coaster of a move. And then as that fire continued to play out, it jumped up out of the upper bound of the channel. Huge move. Um, and what we always look for when a stock leaves the channel to the upside or the downside is what it does when it comes to test the mid-range of the channel, because eventually it interacts with it again. And so it drew down relatively quickly uh, once it got into the gap. Right down there, tried to catch support on this candle, flipped it to resistance at this candle, and then we get that gap down. And now today, putting in this itty bitty candle, <laughs> um, as it looks like on the histogram, all the bullish momentum is dying down. Now, does that mean it can't just sort of like come down to the baseline and flare up again? No, it certainly can. Um, we see the bearish momentum, certainly double dipping, triple dipping, quadruple dipping here. So it doesn't have to be a one and done. It could flare up again. Um, but, you know, this channel sort of wide at the moment, you know, not as compressed as it was back here because of all this volatility. So it has a big breadth that it could stretch and still stay in the channel. You know, it could get down into like the 32s or so. It could get up to about the 45-ish range. 
and still be in the gap. So interested to see how that goes. Now we do see this wave cloud here, um, you know, wanting to kind of come to a point, um, sort of like you see here when it finally dies down, it comes to a point and then that's where the transition takes place. So we'll see, you know, it still is quite broad. So don't know that it's going to make a full move. Nothing triggering yet on the TTM squeeze indicator. Um, and I'm interested to see if it needs to stretch down to the lower bound of the channel, or if it's going to be able to come back up and, and retest the mid range and, and what it does there. Um, hard to tell at the moment, because it's just kind of hanging here. It's just, there's not a lot of sort of substantive action that's taken place. Um, you know, like we saw here, like sort of just pinning to a range, it's kind of hanging here between the lower uh, mid range of the channel and the lower bound of the channel. So we'll see how that continues to take shape. But those are the things that I'm keeping an eye on at the moment. And um, again, just because it's propensity to leave these gaps and then fill these gaps and oftentimes very like relatively quickly, it fills the gap. You know, I'm interested to see if it, if it fills this guy here relatively soon, that may put it in a situation where it's interacting again with this uptrend support and see what it does there. All right, folks, I hope that your trading week has been going well. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.